good afternoon today we have this as fifth lecture that is revision lecture and uh, on a design of steel structure now in last five lectures or i can say in last four lectures we have covered analysis part so analysis already we have covered and we have problems on this analysis in last four lectures uh, first lectures we can say theory but from second onwards we have solved two problems that is of laterally supported one problem we have solved on laterally unsupported beam now after this analysis we will start today with the design part so design beam and in this design you have to select the member and after selection of the member again you have to go for analysis so analysis is there when we will talk about design of the member so now we will go with one problem so in playlist of this steel structures you can refer this because i am going to show this so that you can solve the problems you can practice it do not listen lectures only you try to solve this you can go this that is in playlist take that problem try to solve that problem and check it if you have any doubt you can communicate to me okay thank you now we will start with design a laterally supported beam design sorry so design a laterally supported beam design a laterally supported beam supported beam subjected to a subjected to a factorial load of subjected to a factorial load of factorial load of 75 kN per meter Seventy five kilo newton per meter factorial load of seventy five kilo newton per meter span of beam is span of beam is eight meter UDL. is including self weight and we have to design it sometimes this problem may be that it supports it supports a reinforced concrete slab that means laterally supported question may be it support we can have this roofing sheets or roofing material then if we have likewise then it goes to laterally supported if directly mention it's okay otherwise sometimes they mention in this fashion also so we have to understand we have that problem that is laterally supported beam now we will start with solution so we have step 1 given data step 1 given data so we have given W U is equal to seventy five kilo newton per meter. Then beam laterally supported. Laterally supported. So this data is given. Now we will switch over to step two. Shear force and bending moment. 
shear force and bending moment. If you are going to draw the or plot the diagram, then you can take say SFD and BMD. So SFD means shear force diagram, bending moment diagram. So now we have given beam and we have 70 pi kilonewton per meter. We have this 70 pi kilonewton per meter and that span is 8 meter per meter, 8 meter. So we have ultimate shear force VU ultimate shear force equal to VU equal to WUL by 2. W u we have 70 pi u into 8 by 2. It goes to 300 kilonewton. And ultimate bending moment. Ultimate bending moment. We have W u l square by 8. So W u we have 70 pi u into 8 square by 8, it comes 600 kilonewton meter. Now we have to go third section modulus required, step 3. We have section modulus required. Then we have if you remember in 8.2.1, so I will write over this side. So we have in this 8.2.1.2, we have MD is equal to beta B Z P F Y upon gamma M. We will rearrange it and we will write Z P required equal to M U into gamma M upon F Y. So we are going to modify this formula and therefore we are going to write down ZP required is equal to MU gamma MO upon F. We are assuming beta B equal to 1 considering section is plastic or compact. And now we will substitute the values in this equation and from this we will get it equal to 600 into 10 days to 6 into 1.6, sorry, into 1.1, 1 .1. so into 1.1 divided by 250, divided by 250. And from this, we will get value that is equal to 2640, 2640 into 10 days to 3 millimeter cube. We can write it as 2640 centimeter cube. So this is step number three, where we have section modulus required 2640 centimeter cube. Now we have step four, selection of section. So we have step four, selection of section. Then we have to go annex H on page 138. Annex H, page 138. And from this, we are going to select. So we have select ISMB 550 at 103.7 kg per meter. So this is uh, select section of selection of section. Now your analysis start. So from this onward, after this selection of section, after this you have analysis. Whichever problem we have solved before this, so same we have to go over here. So we have this analysis. So now we know in analysis, we have to go first step that is properties of section because if section is given, then we require properties of section. Properties of section. 
then we have H equal to 550 millimeters, BF 190 millimeters, TF 19.3 millimeters, TW 11.2 millimeters, ZPZ 2711.98, into 10 days to 3 millimeter cube. And this value is greater than required value, greater than 2640 into 10 days to 3 millimeter cube. So now after these properties, we know we have next step, classification of section. Classification of section. We have B by TF, BF by 2 by TF, we have 190 by 2 and TF we have 19.3 which is equal to 4.92 less than 9.4 therefore flange is plastic. Then we can have D by TW. So we have H minus 2 TF upon TW. 550 minus 2 into TF 19.3. TW is 11.2. And this value comes 45.66 less than 84, therefore wave is plastic, and therefore section is plastic. Section is plastic, and therefore beta B is one. Beta B is one. So once we have this, then we have to check it step seven. So we have to use class number seven, sorry, class number 8.2.1, 2.1.2 or 9.2. And for that when we have to determine, we have to determine shear strength of section. And then from class number 8.4, Clause number 8.4, page 59, we have VD equal to AV FY upon root 3 gamma M. They have given that V and VP everything, we can directly write it as H into TW FY upon root 3 gamma M. H is 515. TW we have 11.2 FY 250 upon root 3 into 1.1 and this value comes 734.81 into 10 days to 3 newtons equal to 734.81 kilonewton. Then we have to find 0.6 VD, so we have 0.6 VD 734.81, that will be equal to 440.89. And this value is greater than VU, which is 300 kilonewton. And therefore, use clause number 8.2.1, page 52. By using this clause, we can determine design strength in step eight. So step eight we have, design bending strength,
And then we have this formula MD equal to beta B ZPZ FY upon gamma M beta B one ZPZ we have two seven one one point nine eight into ten days to three into two fifty upon one point one and it comes six one six point three six kilonewton meter greater than MU six hundred kilonewton meter therefore say then we have <coughs> we have to check minimum this check that is check for deflection check for deflection we have formula delta calculated UDL throughout pi by 384 WL4 upon EI pi by 384 W is 75 L we have 8004 upon 384 we have already mentioned E2 into 10 days to 5 and value of I is 648.95 into 10 days to 6. And then if we solve this, we will get this value 20.55 millimeter. Delta allowable. If we will go to table 6. In table 6, we have that is other buildings in other buildings, we have vertical loads, and in vertical loads, we have elements not susceptible for cracking. Elements not susceptible for cracking. And for this, delta allowable is Span by 150, span we have 8000, divide by 150 equal to 53.33 millimeters, which is greater than delta calculated 20.55 millimeter, therefore same. So we can write, provide ISMB ISMB one zero three point seven kg per meter for Abu Nuri. So I am sending these lectures actually daily one. So expecting you can go one by one. If you want to be fast, then you can communicate me. I can put it earlier again. So I do not have any problem. So now we will stop here only. Thank you.